Located in the heart of Atlanta since 1850, this national landmark is an escape from the bustle of everyday life. Golf legend Bobby Jones, Gone with the Wind author Margaret Mitchell, and Atlanta's first African-American mayor all share common ground here. From the wide open potter's field to the historical African-American grounds, the young and the old alike are all laid to rest. As a microcosm of local and national history, this park is home to over 7,000 souls, ranging from the elite to the working class. Projects to save this treasured sanctuary span from minor to monumental, and the restoration necessary to preserve this place is an ongoing challenge. This is a part of Atlanta. This is Oakland Cemetery. This is keeping Atlanta's history alive. I'm David Moore. I'm the historic Oakland Cemetery Executive Director. You know, it is always a great thing to be able to look back at your photographs and at your um, and, and mark a little time, a little history to determine how well you're doing with historic preservation. And when I look back at what where we were seven years ago and even before I got here ten years ago. Um, I can't say this place was a weedy mess because people have been working on it for almost 30 years but um, we have undergone a tremendous revitalization in the restoration and in the um, historic landscape design of this place. Um, the neighborhood has helped as well. The historic uh, revitalization of East Atlanta has really uh, been a boon to what we have tried to do here with Oakland and trying to keep this history alive. And I would like to think that the fact that Oakland is so revitalized and so pretty um, and there's so much history and so many things that, that we can tell here that the, that the neighborhood has benefited. I don't think there would be a six feet under restaurant across the street. There wouldn't be an Oakland Park condominium down the road. There wouldn't be the Jane live, work and play area um, that people can, can enjoy if this place were not restored and welcoming and as vital as it is and such a, such a wonderful landmark historic place for this city. So it's a symbiotic relationship and, and seven years ago it just wasn't like that. There wasn't this development here, there wasn't the beauty and the restoration work you see here today. We've really turned the corner. When the cemetery was created by the city of Atlanta in, in 1850, um, Atlanta was, had just become a city. The uh, city fathers uh, were anticipating a tremendous growth in this area and so they said, you know, we've got to find a place to, to, to bury our dead other than the small cemetery that existed. It didn't start out to be a Victorian rural garden creation. It was just in grids. But of course, as we know from what we see here today over time, it became a garden quality uh, Victorian uh, garden creation. But it was city funds uh, it was, and this remains a city park today. It's a city of Atlanta park just like Piedmont Park. Only we have about 70,000 residents that we like to take care of uh, along the way. We divided up the cemetery into 10 restoration phases. Years ago, we would fix a monument here, a tombstone there. We'd raise some cradling up out of the ground in another section. And so work was being done. But when you looked around, you couldn't tell that any difference was being made. So we decided to divide the cemetery up into 10 phases and just kind of like how does the ant eat the elephant? Well, one bite at a time. So we're restoring sections and we've already restored sections one, two, and now we're working on what we call section three. My name is Dustin Hornsby, and I am the restoration manager and senior technician. I've been here for nine years. My name is David Westbrook. I am restoration technician, and I've been here for two and a half years. Yeah, this is an, a current project ongoing. Um, 
It's part of a much larger project. Uh, we got a grant from the federal government called the Save America, America's Treasures Grant. And it's a restoration grant for uh, to restore and repair our 55 mausoleums, what we call the crown jewels of Oakland. Um, and we're in the last of three years in restoring those buildings. So um, as far as restoration efforts, it's critical. It's phase three and it's finishing the Save America's Treasures mausoleum repairs. So there's, there's always something to repair here, but we strategically look at what needs to be done and, at what, and what steps need to be taken to do it. And we've done, what would you say, about percentage complete just in general? 90%? It's probably about, yeah, 90% complete. Mm -hmm. And this one back here is one that's probably the most complicated because it has a lot of the more uh, deteriorating in a way that none of the other ones are. I mean, this is a sandstone mausoleum, so uh, the issues it has is pretty much unique to just this mausoleum. There's one other one that has sandstone roof, and they have similar problems, but this is the only one that is... Um, the problem of its kind out here, so it's a little more involved than our typical restoration project. When it comes to restoration, though, we can't ignore the critical areas that need restoring. If there's a tombstone or a monument or an area that is in, and that is in critical need that is going to be lost or there's a wall that's fallen down that's hazardous, we commit funds to go and work on those as well. The foundation does run on a, on a, on a strict budget. Uh, we look at what our needs are and what we think we can raise and therefore what, what work we think we can do. And that's not only the restoration work, but that's also to run our tour programs, to run our educational programming, to uh, put on our special events where we get the, the community to come in and interact with this space and learn from it. My name is Penny Luck. I'm a volunteer docent tour guide at Historic Oakland Cemetery. I've been a tour guide, I think this is my fourth summer. I live in the neighborhood and I've walked my dog here for years and when I retired I decided it would be fun to be a volunteer. I would like to invite everyone to come and visit Historic Oakland Cemetery. We have tours on the weekend all year long and we have many more on the weekends in the summertime and we have several festivals. It's important to share our history with, with all people uh, so that we know where we've been and where we come from. David and Dustin are two of three restoration staff members. They utilize their skills in detail work, while contractors are hired to complete larger and less fragile works. David holds a master's in heritage preservation from Georgia State University, and Dustin received his certification in cathedral stone mortar, a specialty mortar that works well with the historic nature of the mausoleums, tombs, and sculptures at Oakland. Removing a uh, material that is already uh, flaked off and is too far gone to save, so what we do is remove the old material down to solid stone again. So we do that with, with two different tools, a diamond bit uh, grinder and then with a pneumatic uh, chisel. Well, a lot of times once we get into a project, we'll find other problems like say we start digging and we find a stone that's been broken off and settled under the ground however many years ago, so that'll like change the length of the project or things like that happen all the time you know you can't really anticipate what you're going to find yeah. once you start getting in there or or if you come up to a tombstone and it just looks like a upright tablature and then you start digging down and you find two more pieces of a base that you now have to raise up clean put a foundation underneath it and so yeah, it's really unknown to when you what you're getting into until you start working on it so we have families that will come out and they'll pay for their lot or we have a critical bucket that if there's a tombstone is about to, is in risk of falling over, breaking, or if it's really on the ground already broken, there's a risk of it getting carried away or moved. We'll go and we'll we'll fix it. And then also the foundation. The foundation raises funds for bigger projects. We have a phase by phase project that we're we're doing, and we're in our third phase. And it's it's six acres that we'll be restoring out here. And we I think we restored probably about an acre and a half of it. So we've got a, uh, an operating and restoration budget of about, you know, anywhere from six hundred to nine hundred thousand dollars a year. And again, if we can raise it, we'll, we'll put it to work. The restoration staff works to preserve the history alongside numerous volunteers who also share their dedication. 
The restoration efforts from the volunteers, donors, and staff at Oakland Cemetery have a large impact on Atlanta's past, present, and future. Um, we went through a, a very extensive um, master planning process, and I think any um, historic space or green space um, should go through a master planning process. So through that strategic planning process, we looked at what this place might look like in 10 years, in 15 years. We looked at um, additional ingress and egress, where we might be able to have people come in from different, uh, different places than just the front gate. And they would come in that way because perhaps we were able to restore our greenhouse and make it, to, and make it an event space so it needed to be serviced from the back. And maybe we will be able also to create a visitor center out in front of our gate so that people can come in and have a bigger, better space to become oriented with what's going on here. Yes, I'd like to be through with phases one through 10. By that time, it would be time to probably start over with phase one and, and continue the maintenance. We would love to take over the uh, complete maintenance of this place with the help of the city, um, raising the money to put in a maintenance endowment account where we could truly garden and maintain what we've restored. With every restoration project comes a tremendous maintenance bill. So it's going to take a lot of money to continue that process. So I, so I guess my vision for this place is to be, uh, to be fully restored and, and beautifully landscaped and maintained. And for us, the, for the, us, the foundation and the, for the community to be able to welcome three times as many people as we do now. I, I think our, our vision for our educational program is that somewhere between uh, uh, pre-K and 12 and, and 12th year in high school, every Georgia student should walk through these gates and when they do, be transformed, learn something about themselves, about the, about the place they live, um, to have an effect, a positive effect on their lives. So we're striving to do that, but it'll take a lot of money uh, and it'll take a lot of resources, but that's my vision, just to continue to grow, to restore, to preserve, to enhance, and to share this irreplaceable landmark. I believe it was said that there are only two things that we know of for sure in this life. One is the fleeting present of the moment, and the other is the past. And if that be true, then all we really have is the past. And so if we, if this place ceased to exist, we would lose our connection with the past. And if we lose our connection with the past, we lose our connection to just about everything that we are as a people, and we lose our capacity to envision our future. So it's terribly important that we continue historic preservation, not only here at Oakland, but in other very important uh, landmark spots, dusty museums, archives, places of, of historic uh, wonder and interest, because again, if we lose that, then I think we lose a sense of who we are as a people.